Hello, I wanted to share with you another uh, progress. It's a photographic pro progress of uh, an acrylic painting I did recently. I am an amateur painter. I use acrylics, water-based oils. Yes, they are oils, but they're water soluble and sometimes watercolors and pastels, but I've been working with acrylics a lot. They're very friendly for plein air and you can carry them easily. Uh, they're non-toxic, so if you do plein air and you travel by plane, uh, you have no trouble bringing your paints with you. They're not uh, flammable. Anyway, uh, so this is um, one shelf in my library and I wanted to show you the progress of this painting. So on a first stage, this is on cotton canvas. It's uh, 16 by 20. And on a first stage, I just blocked in the basically the large shapes uh, establishing the darkest darks and the larger shapes. As you can see, the figure that's on the shelf, it's a Yadro figure. Um, it's not painted. You, what you see there is the uh, just the, the, the color of the uh, canvas that's uh, toned with a very light yellow ochre. Uh, the, the lightest, uh, I wanted to make sure that I kept the shadows and the lightest areas of the painting in this uh, blocking stage. As you can see there, uh, the canvas was actually toned with transparent color, very, very light. It, it looks like it's white, but if you compare it to the white background of the slide, it is not a white canvas. On a second stage, what I did was to refine a little bit the local colors, especially on the figure. So I was using ultramarine and phthalo blue, neutralized with some alizarin and a crimson and yellow ochre. I created three piles of this color and the three piles had different tones, lightening them with a slightly different amounts of white. So it's basically the same color mixture, but if you can see the figure has very large brush strokes, there's no details, although it, it gives the impression of details, but uh, it's basically the same color in three different tones. And of course, the, the white of the canvas that's not painted. Uh, for the hair, it was really uh, very easy just uh, using the um, burnt sienna for her hair and just very light uh, strokes of uh, yellow ochre with white. There's no white in here, but it does look white like uh, the ceramic reflection, but it's not pure white. Um, I also uh, did some negative painting around the figure. So the nose and the hair and the little bow on her on her hair, they're all painted with the darkest dark on the on the back. I did the same for her sleeve and then the little bow in the back of her apron. They're painted by painting the book behind it. So it's negative painting after I had the shapes and general colors, I did the negative painting around the figure using the colors of the books and the shelf in the back. And I decided to use a very dark uh, color for the areas that are not lighted. It is important to, to, to note, you know, I don't know how to photograph paints. Uh, when you see the real painting, uh, it doesn't look black. Some areas look blue, some areas look green, some areas look dark reds or so there's there's color in there is not necessarily all black but it's definitely dark which is the idea of pushing it back uh, i also define the local color on the sh on the first uh, on the shelf in the middle uh, which is basically using uh, burnt umber uh, not dissolved with anything but if you can see there there's a lot of colors in that shelf because uh, the, the reflections of the books are reflected in a darker tone, uh, but it's reflected on the shelf. And the lighter parts of the shelf is basically burnt sienna. So I started looking at the reflections, etc. Reflection of the figure is still, you'll see in the, in the next slide, needs a lot. Same as the little doggy that looks like it's falling apart. And the figure doesn't look like it's standing correctly. So these corrections I did uh, in a later stage. Uh, I also started working on the uh, shelf, uh, the edges of the shelf. As you can see, the top one is not even done yet. I just noted where the light should be. 
and uh, this is exactly the way that I saw it. Um, this is uh, around 10 a.m. from my library. So I, I can sit here and I can avoid having a photo, although a photo is always good as a good reference, but it's where I sit. So I can see how it looks and uh, you decide when to take the shades and the lights. And I decided to do it when it was most dramatic for this particular image. Um, so to make it light on the uh, burnt sienna, I use some ultramarine. I'm sorry, to make it light, I, I use some yellow ochre. To make it darker, I used the burnt umber and some ultramarine uh, blue. So the books at the bottom, the books in the top are not, uh, or any, any of the books, also the ones in the middle, are just starting to shape up as potential books. But in the next stage is where I started working a bit more on refining them. So uh, what I did also was to add some warm colors on the figure on the left. And this was basically with yellow ochre, although a little hint of uh, alizarin crimson helps with the titanium white. So instead of keeping it um, white, white on the ceramic uh, figurine or porcelain figurine, I decided to do some warm colors. And I also started putting uh, some of the details of the figure and lights on the darker areas. Uh, it's really brush strokes. It, ha it gives the impression of detail, but it's really brush strokes. As you can see, I now corrected the dog, which is now not falling out, but it's more straight. And uh, it's uh, looking at her. She's promising to give him something. Um, uh, the details on the books include a little bit of the titles, but I didn't want to go for many, many details on the contrary. And I did a lot of lost edges, especially in the bottom shelf. I don't want to draw attention to some areas on the left or the right of the canvas. I did also do more lost edges. The sharper edges are definitely around the figure but um, I wanted to do a lot of lost edges and where you actually don't see um, where it starts or where it ends so that the, the eyesight is not driven to those details. Um, I emphasized also the shadow that the figurine is projecting on the books. I thought that was a very interesting image. I've been seeing it all the time when I'm working here in my library. So uh, the shadows on the books is something that I really like. And I wanted to do it using the local color of the book, just slightly darker with ultramarine blue. And that's exactly what, what I did. I also started refining a bit more uh, the reflections uh, there's some reflections on the books that are pinkish on the right of her of the figure and the reflections are cream color so they did not really correspond correctly to the actual reflection like those on the left are probably uh, a little better achieved and I also wanted to work a bit more on the edges of the shelf in the top and the bottom uh, likewise, also the reflection of her image and still the figure doesn't have a flat surface. It's not standing correctly. So I did refine this on a, on, on a later stage. And this is what I was meaning. So the bottom of that figure is now more straight. The reflection is more real to what I was actually seeing. I corrected the colors of the reflections of the books on the right. Um, this probably is not as, as good a photo as the previous one. Uh, I did not light uh, anything else. It, it's just the, the light from the photo. But the final effect is actually pushing your eyes to the figure. I hope that's the focal point. And that defining the figure with uh, better 3D sort of brush strokes, especially under her skirt, uh, on the doggy and her clothes and and head i think it does create the impression of detail but there's really not much detail in there uh, i also made sure the reflections corresponded to what i was actually seeing and that they were more uh, in tune with what i was painting um, the light on the shelves really uh, especially the top shelf had a very bright point uh, coming closer to the third the left third edge 
and uh, at first it looked wrong but that's the way I was seeing it so that's the way I painted it and I think it actually makes more sense and voila this is the final painting I hope you enjoyed this progression as much as I did enjoy painting it and happy painting